Hi friends, welcome to CCMP Route Mini VRF Lab. So it's called VRF Light, Light Lab. Guys, in this particular section, what we are going to do, we are going to configure, as you see, there, there are, there'll be two verb on router one and there'll be two verb on router two. They are called blue and red. Loopback zero will be on blue verb running OSPF and loopback one will be on red verb running RIP version two. And between the router one, router two, we have fast Ethernet zero zero. I'm going to create dot one Q tagging. So let's create the configuration, guys. So I'm on R one now. So the way to do first, yeah, I have to create the verb. I'll type IP VRF blue, and also I'll type exit, and also I'll type IP VRF red. That's the first thing you have to do on both the routers. So I'll, I'll go to this router and say IP VRF red, and also IP VRF. So we created red and blue. So let's create IP VRF blue. Then what I want to do, I want to go to router one here. I'll type interface FA00. I'm going to put FA00 to, then I'm going to say no IP address, exit interface fa 0.0.12 encapsulation dot one q 12 then i will say ip vrf forwarding it is part of blue wolf then i'm going to define the ip address 12.12.12.1 255.255.255.0 no shut then i will go to dot 21 and say uh, and I will say encapsulation dot one q 21 is going to be IP VRF forwarding red then I'm going to type the IP address in this case is going to be 21 21 21 dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and also let's create interface loopback zero IP address I'll show you this one. If I type IP address 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 255 .255 .255 .255 .255. If I type IP VRF forwarding blue is going to remove the IP address. So best thing is you first type IP VRF forwarding then you retype the IP address. So that's the best strategy. Even for CCI level that's what you're going to do. Then let's create interface loop back one interface loop back one IP address 11.11.11. .11 okay before I, as I said before I type the IP I'll type IP VRF forwarding red IP address 11.11.11.11.255.255.255.255 so guys I created router one I configured router one already so I have created blue wolf and red wolf so verf stand for virtual routing and forwarding. The command is if I type show IP verf, I'm going to see blue is part of these two these two interfaces, red is part of these two interfaces. If I type show IP route, I will not see nothing because nothing in the those routing table. But if I type show IP route VRF red, I will be seeing two connected interfaces. Same way if I type show IP VRF blue i'm going to see two connected interfaces let's configure other side to the same way what i configured so what i'm going to do now interface fa00.12 encapsulation.1 q12 then i'm going to say ip vrf forwarding i'll make it big so i kind of remember the diagram you guys always draw the diagram guys okay i'm going to make it big ip vrf forwarding blue IP address 12.12.12.2 255 255 255 0 then I'm going to type I'll come to 21 so here I had put 21 21 okay before I do this one I had to put IP VRF forwarding red then if I want generally it's best to type the IP 
in this case i will say 21 21 21 dot 2 then exit interface fa 0 0 i will type no shut and also now i'll say interface loop back 0 ip address 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 255 255 okay guys again before i do i'll type ip vrf forwarding blue then ip address 2.2.2.2 255 255 255 255 then interface loopback 1 ip vrf forwarding red ip address 22.22.22.22 255 again guys i have four ip addresses show ip interface brief exclude and assign it should show me four or four ips if i type show ip verb it should tell me 2 to interface I invert. So right now, if I do ping 12.12.12.1, it won't work because, because from the router's perspective, they are worf, that means they are virtual routers within the main router. So normal ping will not work. So if I want to ping, what I should do, I should say ping VRF blue, then I can type 12.12.12.1. So we have to see, yeah, it's working. So the command is ping. So I'm going to make it big to show you guys. So the command is ping VRF blue. If I want to tell net, even, even trace route, if I want to do a trace route, I think it's 12.12.12.1. 12 .12 12 yeah. Trace route VRF blue, then 12.12.12.1. 12 .12 and if I want to tell net, I think the command is tell net 12.12.12.1 VRF blue. So remember the commands are different when you do tell net, ping everything. And as like before, if I type show IP route, I'm not going to see anything. If I type show IP route, I will not see anything. But if I want to see, I type show IP route VRF blue. And I can type show IP route VRF red. So let's go, let's minimize this one guys. Let's go to the diagram one more time just to understand what we are going to do. So I'm going to turn OSPF on the top blue verb. And I'm going to turn rip on the bottom verb. The commands are different. So just see how I'm going to turn OSPF. So command wise, what I'm going to do, let's, let's increase this one. So config T router ospf1 vrf i will say blue in this verb i'm going to advertise network 12.12.12.0.0.0.0.255 that's number one i'll put area zero because that's many cornet and that's a many cornet uh, as number area number so now one dot one dot one dot one dot one Okay, so this router is done. Let's do the same thing. I did a small mistake, guys. It should be not network one. It should be network 2.2.2.2 because I'm on. I will remove the previous network command because I'm on router two right now. Whenever you configure, make sure the configurations are right. Okay, let's go to router one. Let's enable OSPF. So router OSPF one VRF blue okay i'm going to type no router ospf1 then i will say router ospf1 vrf blue the reason i think i'm i, I took the lab from the previous lab so here network 12.12.12.0 0.0.0.255 0 .0 area 0 network 1.1.1.1 area 0 you see guys, I already got the neighbor. If I type show IP OSPF neighbor, it's going to show me the verb neighbor and the normal neighbor. Okay, so when I type show IP OSPF neighbor, if I type show IP route OSPF, I will not see anything. But if I type show IP route VRF blue, yeah, I'm seeing 
I can say show IP route VRF blue. Just define me the OSPF route. I'm learning one OSPF route. If I go to R2, same way. If I type show IP route VRF blue OSPF, I'm seeing one route. If I want to ping on the side, I have to say ping VRF blue 2.2.2.2 source loop back zero. I cannot type source loop back one because loop back one is going to be part of red wolf. It don't know because we haven't advertised. It won't work. So guys, again, we have, it's a very good lab. We are halfway through the lab right now. So I have configured the blue wolf for OSPF. Now I'm going to configure red wolf for rip. First of all, I want to see whether I have connectivity to 21, 21, 21. Let's keep the diagram. Let's make it small. Okay, so I'm uh, let's go to router one and type ping VRF red 21.21.21.2. I want to see the connectivity to the other router. So I have the connectivity. So let's configure rip on this one. So the way to configure rip is config T router rip. Okay, router rip version 2 no auto summary address family ipv4 vrf red just see the commands are different let's see at the end here version 2 is there no auto summary the commands are available put so here i had advertised network 11.0.0.0 and also network 21.0.0.0 i'm on r1 so let's do the same thing on router 2 So always look at the diagram. You should have the diagram handy. On router two, I'm going to advertise 22, 22, 22, and network 21 in rip. So config t router rip version two, no auto summary, address family. I so if I type address family, just always say this is only IPv4 only. Address family IPv4 VRF. The name of the VRF is red. Here I'm going to, I can type again no auto summary version 2. Then I can type network. I'm routed to so 22.0.0.0 and also network 21.0.0.0. So let's say show run section OSPF section rip. So these are very powerful command. You see how to configure. So this is the way how you configure OSPF for a verb and also this is the way you configure RIP for verb. In the CCIE exam, you, you mainly you will be working with OSPF and BGP. And also there's a command called show run section verb. Okay, here it tells even better what you can do. You can type show run pipe include inter verb. The output wise is very nice. It tells you what what interfaces in what what verb. If you want to sit, look at the IP also, you can say IP. It gives me loopback zero, the verb name and address. It give me loopback one, verb name and address. So it's a very nice commands guys. And also in the main industry, you use show run section verb. So configuration wise, everything is good. So let's see the commands, routing protocol commands, show run section router. Let's see whether it's going to give us both. That's right, it's giving me both OSPF commands and RIP commands. Here also show run section router. And show run pipe include inter VRF IP so it's going to give you all the interfaces verb name starting from here interface loop back zero loop back one so here it shows me how we configure the sub interfaces with the trunking R2 I think I already captured so let's look at the routing table from R1 before we finish this video so R1 should have two verb 
one is blue work red work blue work you should see 222 as a ospf route in red work you should be seeing 2222 as a rip route let's see let's ping then we, we are done with the lab okay so the first command is we know the blue is running ospf show ip route show ip route vrf blue ospf i'm seeing the one so can can i ping that one ping vrf blue the ip address is 2.2.2.2 i'm pinging that's good and also i'm going to type the command bottom one is something but show ip route vrf red i know i'm running rip there's only one one network is learned so let's ping ping vrf red 22.22.22.22 is pinging and remember if i do just normal ping nothing will work yes let's i want to show you that one too because nothing is in the global routing table because what we did we took two routers we virtually we divided into two routers then we are running routing protocol within the router so if i type show ip protocol is going to show me the routing protocols i'm running but it's going to tell me it's part of a work routing protocol so the piece of global routing right now okay guys this concludes our vrf light videos hopefully you guys would have enjoyed this ccnp route vrf light lab so this is the prerequisite to become your ccnp level ccnp level there are very high MPLS, there are label protocols here, understand route target, what is the route distinguisher, and everything will be covered in the class very high level. Again, guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the videos, please go to YouTube and subscribe to the many advantage. Thanks for watching.